How can we stop prejudice and racism? First of all, stop calling people by their race like the news media likes to do. We're called, the human race, separated by ethnicity, culture, language, religion, etc. We're all one race of people. The media continuously discerns individuals in a variety of news stories as Black, Brown, Hispanics, Latino, White, Asian, Indian, etc. When they should actually be describing the person or the event that had taken place without making it a priority to elaborate straightforwardly on a person's ethnicity or skin color. We're all conjoined together by the same DNA genetic factors of life. Addressing and eliminating prejudice and racism is a complex and multifaceted task that requires efforts at individual, societal, and institutional levels. While changing media representation and language is one aspect, it is just one step toward creating a more inclusive and tolerant society. Here are some key strategies that can contribute to combating prejudice and racism. Education and awareness. Promote education about different cultures, histories, and experiences to foster understanding and empathy. Encourage open discussions about prejudice and racism in schools, workplaces, and communities to raise awareness and challenge stereotypes. Foster inclusivity and diversity. Create environments that embrace diversity and inclusivity, where people from different backgrounds feel valued and respected. Encourage diverse representation in various sectors, including media, government, and businesses. Promote interactions and dialogue. Encourage meaningful interactions between people from different racial, ethnic, and cultural backgrounds. Engaging in respectful dialogue can help break down stereotypes and foster mutual understanding. Address implicit bias. Acknowledge and address implicit biases that may influence perceptions and behaviors. Training programs can help individuals recognize and challenge their biases. Legislation and policies. Advocate for and support anti-discrimination laws and policies that protect the rights of all individuals, regardless of their racial or ethnic background. Media representation. Encourage media outlets to present diverse and accurate representations of individuals and avoid reinforcing stereotypes or stigmatizing certain racial or ethnic groups. Challenge microaggressions. Speak up against microaggressions, subtle and indirect expressions of racism, and create environments where such behavior is not tolerated. Promote empathy and compassion. Cultivate empathy and compassion by encouraging people to put themselves in others' shoes and recognize shared humanity. Community engagement. Engage in community-based initiatives that promote inclusivity, social cohesion, and collective action against racism and prejudice. Led by example. Model inclusive behavior and attitudes in your own life and encourage others to do the same. It's important to remember that combating prejudice and racism is an ongoing process that requires a collective effort. By actively challenging discrimination, promoting understanding, and fostering inclusive environments, we can work towards a more equitable and harmonious world for everyone.